Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. We'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony, you get the roof across the yard. I'm next in line, man. Es que no me lo creo, man. Don't worry, I got you covered. Diaz's men are getting cut down. Your head will be taken off. Oh. 
Cuando días. You son of a bitch. Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy, Lance? your head off uh, who is this thick head Tommy Versetti you remember me excuse me I'm a little anxious never trust a goddamn horse you do a good job you work for me now I work for money as I said amigo you work for me now I work shut for up me. some Judas has betrayed me he thinks I don't know how much money I should be making but stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, ah. this is gonna be easy. 
that this is rock and roll, man. It comes and it goes. It's better to burn out than fade away. So you're, you're calling me a burnout, is that what you're saying? No, oh, I heard that you applied for this job with a resume written on rolling papers. Come on. And yeah, you said yours in hand it's not rock and roll, man. Rock and roll's a lifestyle. It's got a limit. You got to know it. You just want to dance. Think about it. Which is this? I want to rock. Now, if I help me, autograph, turn up the radio. Talk about me, man. Turn up the radio. Turn up the cousin Ed. What's the mascot name, Brian? No, Listen, dude. First off, cousin Ed is a really weak radio name. What are you, like a redneck? What do you do? Let me ask you about high school. You a high school band? No. You were in the band, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, while you were learning the Star Spangled Banner, I was in the garage drumming the Death Leopard song. Uh, listen. I... Oh, shit! Loser! Uh -huh. Slow, Granddad. You better keep on running, asshole. Piss off. Thunder. On the toll road of life, you have to pay to prove you can. Live the emotion of an individual. The awesome power of nature distilled into one vehicle. Here he goes after you get struck by lightning. There's Thunder. The Maibatsu Thunder. Feathered hair. Pentagram necklace. Something missing? Complete the, Complete the look with a pair of crotch hugging, slightly too short, acid wash, skin tight jeans at Vice City's one stop shop for the rebel who sets his own style. <laughs> Complete the look. Yes, I agree! Big cookie. Smash him in the face with a baking tray instead. He's a brainless adult. He's a man. Do you know men enjoy looking at pictures of naked women? It's called pornography. It's sick and foul. See me think they're in stores now. I'm telling you, it's gonna knock your socks off. It's like a record. Only it's played by lasers that won't skip. Wow! <laughs>
really good, and I'm not receiving any special treatment or action on the tour bus to say that. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they can sell Gallo in Vice City. What next? Huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here. Quentin! Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. What's been puzzling me? What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Van. Vance. You hate Lance Vance? Hey, I got enough of that in school. Lance Vance, poor bastard. Where the hell are we headed? You ever buy one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way though. Okay, okay we're almost there. We'll make a couple of passes. I'll take out as many guns as you can. Then I'll set you down and you're on your way.
from here. Good luck, bro. So pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, hey, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard had just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. to save his country, but found his family and lost a friend. Archie! Tim, don't leave me! You taught me baseball, Tim, and... My family already owns you! I'm late to my husband's funeral! Hey, but what are tail 
tells us is all animals are pretty much the same from a genetic level. Oh, cool. Damn right it's cool, babe. You know what that means, don't you? No, I haven't got a clue. It means we've all got to start caring for one another like family. Okay, so let me get this straight. Like, my brother is a cockroach and my dad is a pigeon and my mom... Jack! Plastic crap! You doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Screw you! It is my favorite Alburo movie, it's die. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here, okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap. But I know one day, I'm gonna save your ass, and you're probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> we got some competition! Your request is on our playlist. I might just play it if you call So Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal. So why in the hell are we running errands for him? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real quick. It's time for the land fan stand. It comes complete with fishing line, needle and thread for sewing gashes back together, and an incredibly useful and durable toothpick. Damn, go on without me. I got toughy stuck in tooth. It's okay, Hochi. Try this! For those unplanned extended stays in the jungle, there's a saw for building your own hut, toilet paper, and a fold-out woman for company, as well as a serrated blade that can kill a man before he can scream. Uh, that'll shut you up. The Exploder Survival Knife. It's the knife that saved America. Watch yourself. They're coming from all over. Got it. Head for Diaz as fast as you can. Go! 
Good shooting, my friend. You're a real, proper, grade-A lunatic. Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Look at the place. It could be worse. Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Help. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a gang lord died. You disguise yourself and head on down and crash the funeral. Mix it up and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. Long hair and leather, this damn awful whaling. I want to rock. Good day, sir. God, bets are so cranky. If you don't like the music, start your own radio station. It's easy.
night we make offering.
Diaz was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me. And once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then...
Black Sifter. Ain't Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's gonna kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of that prick? You kill Leo? You must have big on it. Wanna work for me? Come by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. And we'll talk mano y mano. Hey, man. Hey, easy, papi. This mess for me. You. You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, papi. Look at him. All dressed up like that. What is this? Ladies night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little very chiquita ones. Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. Oh. 
Interrupt me, boy. Anywho, I address the Alaska issue in chapter 23 of my book. You see, the Alaskans are lunatics, plain and simple. They eat whales and snow, and they sleep in the freezer. Who wants to eat snow every day? Oh, I tried to help. I sent a helicopter with copies of my book, but they burned them in a pile for heat. If the people of Alaska choose to live there, let them. But don't come crying when you're tired of eating penguin and it snows 18. Man, you don't know. Anytime, man, cause you got cojones, and all my friends, they got big cojones! People nationwide abandon their hometowns, come down here, and shove their beliefs down everyone else's throats. That's the American way, always has been. We should send some pictures of Florida to those people in Alaska. I tell you, they'd throw down that bear pelt, saddle up the sled dogs, and get pulled all the way... You got big cojones, amigo.